Okay, so, uh, you know, I get a lot of email. I, I have some people that like me. I have people that hate me. Uh, it's just the way it goes uh, when you do what I do. And Anyway, I got an interesting email from a guy, and, you know, I know he means no, uh, no offense, but, you know, a guy sends me, you know, this email, and he's, he's got this strategy that he paid $250 for, and, and he just can't seem to understand why there's such a price disparity between my strategy and his $250 strategy. And so I just want to have a brief discussion about that. It's kind of like um, going to the Porsche dealer with your Ford Focus and say, hey, you know, I, I, I got this Ford Focus and it, it cost me, uh, you know, 10 times or 20 times less than your Porsche. You know, what's the difference? They're, they're both cars. And and that's the analogy I'm going to use is it's really what's under the hood. You know, what, what you're paying for is, is quality and performance and uh, engineering. You know, what really is under the hood of our strategy is quite extensive and, and you can't see it. You know, I'm not going to bother showing you the code. Uh, it's a huge file in Visual Basic. If you know anything about programming, you see how programmers put these things together. It's, it gets quite complex. The relationships between um, orders and entries and canceling orders and making sure there's nothing in the queue and not having overfills, not to mention the uh, graphical features of our program, like, you know, with the click of a mouse, you can click the configure panel. You know, this was done uh, to make it easier for traders to, to change parameters. Other, otherwise, you have to uh, right-click the chart, go to strategies, and select the strategy here, and then you got to scroll down. And, it, you know, this is really cumbersome to make a change in parameters. But that's just a small portion of it. Um, the visual uh, part of it, the graphical part, is it's very user-friendly. Um, the trade manager, with the click of a mouse, uh, you have all this functionality here. You have the ability to trade, uh, change your settings in real time on the fly. Uh, without refreshing the chart. And this is huge because if you want to change your daily goal, you want to change something, uh, you don't have to go in here, disable the strategy, and then uh, make your changes. It's really, really cumbersome. So there's a reason um, for the cost. You know, I went to uh, a number of NinjaTrader vendors that actually worked on my strategy, took my money, and they couldn't deliver. You know, when, when I got the strategy, it, it didn't work with real money. Uh, you know, pr the proper programming of limit orders and order execution is very, very extensive. So the bottom line is uh, you, you, you kind of get what you pay for. You know, you, you want to buy a strategy for a couple of hundred bucks, you're, you're going to get a couple of hundred dollars worth of strategy. But our strategy is on the upper end of state of the art as far as uh, programming of strategies. A lot of vendors actually dropped out of the strategy market because they they couldn't get the sophistication of their ideas actually programmed. My programmer isn't even on the list of NinjaTrader vendors uh, because most of the NinjaTrader vendors I went to wouldn't take my project. They couldn't. E even recently when I was trying to convert to NinjaTrader 8, I was looking for someone and nobody had the skill to do it. Okay, enough of my rant here. Uh, first up, uh, it was a really, really great Friday. Uh, Fridays are sometimes lackluster, but today was really good. First up is the DAX on a 377 Heiken Ashi chart. And this hit its goal in a single trade. This has a goal of 1550. And so we had one ticket slippage with our market order at the end. But our entries are limit orders. And to get true limit orders in your strategy to work without overfills and issues, that's a whole other discussion. Okay, next is the uh, mid-cap on a 150 Heiken Ashi chart. And uh, we hit our goal here of 1,500 in a single trade and had uh, one tick of slippage per contract. Correction, one tick of positive slippage. So here's our goal here, 1,500. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 7 tick uh, came through and uh, did uh, 1,200 for the day. I think our goal is, in fact... 1200 so crude's been doing really well and uh, we didn't have slippage on this one okay next is the russell on a 377 hike and ashy chart and 
couple of fantastic trades here. Really excellent place, short position on the Heiken Ashi bars, and then a long here. And this was at the close of trading. The the uh, goal on this is 1500. So uh, we were just shy of our goal. Another Russell chart did well today. The uh, 987 Heiken Ashi did uh, 730 on three contracts. We had a winner and a loser here. Okay, the E mini S and P on a regular five Renko chart did 1150 today. The goal on this is rather high at 1750, and uh, it's interesting because uh, throughout this kind of sideways movement, it actually had three winning trades, and you can see them here. Uh, this one was uh, worthwhile, and then we had a loser here as it came out of this noise, uh, but then it was followed by this uh, winner, so we had an equity high of a little bit higher than this, but to still to close out at uh, 1150, and this is trading uh, three contracts on this one, so anyway, that's the reason for the higher goal, it's it's three contracts, so it's, it's roughly um, $550 a contract or so. This chart has been really consistent for us. Uh, I've spoke many times about the potential of regular Renko bars. We had quite a few charts hit their goal of 1,000. This Suprenko 6 tick on the crude oil in what looks to be a relatively sideways market here hit its goal of 1,000, I believe, on this one. Yeah, we have a goal of 1,000, a loss of 900. So this hit its goal in spite of this market action here. I prefer to call the auto trader a directional based system rather than volatility based. Although our original algo was written back in 2005 before some of the copycat algos like Supertrend. Uh, we were long before that. But nevertheless, uh, our algo performs in a wide variety of conditions. Okay, the DAX on a 150 tick line break chart did 1,025 for the day. Our goal on this one is 1,500, so on a single trade here. Kind of prematurely stopped out, but that's okay. Okay, next up is the Precision Ranko 8 150 uh, with two back to back winning trades uh, doing 1,000. Its goal is 1,000, so we hit our goal with no slippage. And once again, this chart. Uh, using our line break signals in what is seemingly a sideways market. These swings are tradable swings. Uh, this is not really a trending market, but uh, these are tradable swings. Here's our line break signals here. So another thing that is unique to our strategy in, in uh, Blue Wave Trading is the only one that talks about line break that, that I know of. It's, it's not talked about a great deal, but it's a valid concept and uh, we've been into this for a long time. So in any case, the line break logic coupled with the precision trend is a pretty good combo here. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 Heike and Ashi chart did 995 for the day. Our goal on this is 1,000, so we hit our goal and had uh, half a tick of slippage. Okay, next up is the precision Renko Superenko 8 tick, and this had three trades back to back here and did 990, so came within a tick of its goal. Okay, next is the ES on a Superenko 6 tick, did 537.50 on a handful of trades here. Okay, the E mini SP on a Superenko 4 tick with a 2 tick as the other time frame. Uh, did pretty well. Uh, did 500 for the day. The goal is only 750 on this one. But this trade around the new hour, noon hour is what made the day for it. Crude oil on a 30 second line break chart did 540 on two contracts. Mini S&P on a five minute chart did 600 here. Unfortunately, didn't get much out of this pretty nice move here, but it made up for it with this second trade into the close. Okay, the Dow on a 1597 Heike and Ashi chart had a small loser and a nice winner here and did 655 for the day. The bonds on a Super Renko 2 tick 
made a couple of ticks today and did 343. While the E-mini S&P on a one-minute line break chart did 425 today on a mixture of trades here. Looked like it had an equity high of about 550. And lastly, the crude oil on a 500 hike and ashy tick chart had an equity high of about 700 and then gave it back, gave back a little more than half, ended up with 300. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.